Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Hello and welcome to Internet Cafe. We are the Institute for Transacoustic Research. Hello, I hope you can see us, hear us. We are in all in our kitchens. The, the internet connection is somehow different between us. Wait, 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 wait. Now you can hear us. Ha, huh, sorry. That was a mistake. Now you can see us even, I guess. Hello. I hope you can see us now. There's a little Hi, bit of hello. black in between. Matthias and Ernst. Hi. 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 Yes, we can see it. I can show you. Here, we are here. So it seems to work. So, uh, I can welcome you also uh, in behalf of the Institute for Transacoustic Research to today's Caffeinistic expedition. Actually, uh, it should have been uh, offline, but uh, due to uh, certain circumstances, it's online now and I'm happy that it seems to work. Just uh, in advance, some, some words about the Institute for Transacoustic Research for those of you who shouldn't know us. Uh, we are an, a private institute based in Vienna and uh, were founded in 1998 to define and research transacoustics, in German, transacoustic. And this is, uh, I'll explain later uh, what, what this is all about. Uh, a crucial character of our work is at least the interdisciplinary character. So uh, we try to combine methods from science and arts uh, and to uh, merge these methods and settings uh, from these both areas and uh, to find new and uh, unbelievable results out of various topics. So uh, our main aim is the peripheral effects and tangential areas of uh, acoustics, of course. So the borders of acoustics to other areas of, of research uh, contours and definitional borders are necess necessarily blurred and vague, of course. But the question of the essence of transacoustics, so what is transacoustics, is impossible to answer. So far we found out yet. So it's like the philo question for philosophy or for art. So if, if you ask what is art, what is philosophy, then people can talk a long time, but um, they won't find a very short answer probably. And if they find, then it's not very interesting. So what we do is we ask questions and we open up processes around this imaginary term transacoustics. This doesn't exist in reality, of course. So there's only transacoustic research and it's, con it's constantly circles around this imaginary term and thereby arrives to uh, produce the most diverse results and realizations. This year we uh, took a uh, very um, well-tasting topic uh, with a substance which we appreciate a lot. We found that the Abteilung für Kaffeinistik. Matthias, can you... Yes, yes, yes. Kaffeinistik, that's um, yeah, our new project, as Ernst uh, explained. And it's about the Viennese coffee culture. The Viennese coffee culture is uh, worldwide famous. And uh, it is also, the project is also dedicated to the psychotropic uh, substance coffee. Well, we are planning to have, uh, let's say, four artistic research arrangements in uh, the first one is now on the internet the second one will be uh, the, the to go the, th the third one will be melangerie at a cafe uh, now it's cafe rita it's a la carte and the, the last one will be uh, grenzchen in private flats um, we want to to examine or let's say research about the the substance coffee and its uh, influence uh, on, let's say, listening habits or architecture, social acoustic, literature, music, and um, also audio, audio uh, sound art. 
I think uh, it's all a, a research pro process, so you are now uh, invited to uh, search with us the, uh, let's say, uh, accumulation or the correlation between coffee and art now today with this first part Internet Café. Yeah, the first, uh, we invited some guests uh, and we are very happy Wait. that uh, these guests... Maybe Ernst, stop. Before, before you talk about the guests, maybe some small hint, because there is here, no, here, you can see the link of our yeah. website. So in case you are watching through Echo Räume or another place, it's better to go to this link you see the same stream, of course, because then you also get other stuff which the Echo Räume site doesn't show. Like, for example, we have this Café Automat and other stuff. So I just want to intervene for a short thing. Go to this site because uh, in, in when we progress to the evening, it will be very important to be there because then you can interact with us. Thank you. And, and, also, and also there is, on our website, there is a button here it's the Café Casa, which means it's uh, the button is uh, here somewhere, yes, and uh, it's the donation button. So feel free to spend whatever currency you have, and uh, yes, by just doing some clicks. Yeah, and uh, so what I wanted to say is we invited some guests, like we always do, because we don't want to do all the work alone. And it's transacoustic is always about combining different ideas and fields. It's not a monologue, it's always a dialogue. Uh, and within the in between between the different approaches, then you can maybe feel a little bit of how transacoustic smells. So the first guest I'm very proud to announce is the artist, the media artist and architect Anna Vazov. Anna produces uh, critical and narrative videos and short movies, and she's also currently writing a PhD about her uh, animation techniques. So she makes uh, small films and videos uh, where she uses uh, a very special animation technique, which she has developed herself. Uh, uh, and her work is grounded in experimentation and uh, the core ex mechanism of motion and time-based art, she writes on her website. So uh, she wants to go to the heart of the questions and wants to start from zero, reinventing core premises with her own perspective. So she likes to work with everyday objects. You will see later in, in the video also, uh, she uses uh, very familiar uh, objects, which you all know from home. And uh, she likes to deal with social paradox uh, and thus shows us the world from a different angle. So uh, she took our invitation to develop something about coffee and about uh, Vienna coffee culture and also about this strange situation online. So we are all social distant. We are meeting in the Internet Café uh, to socialize. So she uh, took this invitation and she fulfilled an old dream of herself. She bought a drone and she used it as a butler for the world's first unmanned tea party. So the video, which you will soon see, actually shows the second attempt. The first one, Anna told me, ended in a catastrophe. Uh, so she preferred to show the second one. So it's really a brand new video, unpublished yet. However, please follow us now to Anna Vasov's unmanned tea party.
Hello, hello back again. Thank you for this nice tea party in our cafe house. Uh, actually, not something completely different as some colleagues of us used to say. The title Internet Cafe refers to this anachronistic institution of Internet Cafe, which we all know from our childhood. And uh, it uh, shares the characteristics with the Viennese coffee house. So it's a hub between thrill and relaxation and a place of communication and international encounter and cultural diversity. So this leads me directly to the next point. The I Ching, the Book of Changes, is an ancient Chinese divination text. And uh, it had big influence on uh, all over the world, on philosophy, art, religion, literature. For example, John Cage, the well-known composer and transacoustic uh, pre-thinker, uh, he uh, liked to use it as a method for his aleatoric compositions. Uh, and Franz Halzinger, our old friend and a musical mentor of us, he liked to use these uh, aleatoric principles and he also invented some uh, graphical notation system for a piece which he dedicated to us once, which was called Erbsenzählen. We have now uh, taken these two principles, Erbsenzählen and uh, the Erbsen Ching. it was called. Erbsen Auslese, sorry. Yeah. Uh, we took these two uh, principles and combined it f uh, to a new piece uh, with beans, not Erbsen. Uh, and it's coffee beans. You can see here in the background, coffee beans. And as you also can see on the coffee beans, there are some... Uh, letters on the coffee beans. So uh, I will now make an experiment with you, with the audience. Uh, we will brew coffee together. So you will collect the sound beans and this will produce <coughs> sound. So uh, I will later throw the beans in the air and they will drop and uh, wh when they fall down, they, they, uh, you, can, you can see uh, the letters from A to Z, hopefully. And then you try to find the first letter in the alphabet, which is A. As soon as you find it, you will uh, press the button A, which will appear very soon after uh, the picture started uh, under the video field of your um, uh, of your browser, only on the website www.iftaf.org, not on the Echo Rheim well, site. Well, if you so go to internetcafe.iftaf.org, then you're directly there. Okay. Internetcafe.iftaf.org, then you'll find this. And so you search for the letter A. As soon as you find it, you press button A. This will sample the sound of my coffee machine. Uh, it's not here yet, uh, but uh, maybe I can... I can a little bit, you can have a glimpse on a coffee machine in the background uh, and uh, this will sample sound. So uh, it's important to follow the letters from A to Z because it's a process of, of cooking. When you press the button, don't uh, you, you won't hear the sound instantly because it has to be feed it in the stream. So it will appear later, 30 seconds later maybe. Uh, so uh, just press the button one time, please. So after button A, you look for bean B, and bean B, you find it uh, and on the on the picture. Then you uh, press button B, and so on and so on until you reach letter C, Z. Sorry, if you <laughs> don't find one letter, don't worry. Uh, after ten seconds or so, you can just press the question mark button and continue to the next. So when you arrive at the last uh, button set, you can lean back and listen to the music. Also, after about three and a half minutes, the, uh, uh, the screen will disappear. So that also indicates the piece is over. It's a first experiment. We don't know if it works. Uh, but um, I hope we can enjoy this acoustic cafe together. So, if there are no questions, which I don't know now, we can start yeah. with the video. Yeah, we'll go to this this page, wait a little bit, and then below the video, there will appear the letters, and 
then you can. I start the video and then I start the letter stuff and when everything is settled you can start. Okay. I don't know if you can hear me. Master Yes. Can hello. Okay, hello. Yeah. Thanks for the composition. It's great, I can still hear you because uh, we are 30 seconds in advance. Uh, yeah, what, what you were listening to is this machine. Uh, now I turn it off because it's, uh, it's done, it's done its job. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the coffee. Then, uh, for the next work, we because this is also complicated, we, we tried to find somebody who can explain a little bit better than we can do. And the internet is full of tutorials and webinars. And uh, so an internet cafe should provide at least one webinar a day. And in these difficult times, we also wanted to provide some good advice for our audience. Uh, so we looked for a real specialist and we found one, Anat Steinberg. She's a multidisciplinary artist who works as a performer, as an actress and as a coach. Her works explores the fine line between reality and fiction, 
So exactly the place where Transacoustics is located. And we invited, invited her to our Internet Café to hold a short webinar connected with the topics Café, Internet Café and the actual situation of social distancing. So Anat drank a lot of coffee and then things became clear to her. In her Internet Do-It-Yourself workshop, she will provide a lot of very useful tricks of how to deal with the problem of social distancing during the COVID-19 restrictions. So please lean back and enjoy with us Anat Steinberg reading Variations of Being Together Apart. Okay. <clears throat> So hello everybody, um, today we're going to talk about uh, how to deal with the situation. I uh, created all kinds of uh, tricks and ideas uh, to solve some problems. Um, and the problems or the challenges come up when you take a coffee break. Because if you're busy with something that stills your brain, everything's fine, you're focused. But during a coffee break, that's when the questions come up. Most of the people these days feel a lack of touch. We feel a lack of touch, that's pretty clear because touch gives us uh, uh, self-esteem, confidence, trust, sense of trust in the world. It also consoles and um, reassures us and makes us uh, feel awake. The, the skin feels awake. But what to do? We cannot touch. And even if you are living in a partnership, you are, you've had enough of that touch. So uh, what we need, uh, we could use uh, something like this. This is a leg warmer from the 80s. And you put it on your non-dominant hand, like this. And then you, you give yourself the support you need. And you have to let it, you have to receive it, open, you know, open it. The problem is that very soon the sensation in the hand and the sensation in the uh, face will register as one and we will no longer be able to suspend our disbelief. And that's why I, 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 I thought maybe we can create a, 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 some kind of a para hand, a facilitator, a touch facilitator. We need a, like a stick, uh, something or something, yeah. And we need warm water, it has to be warm and something like this. And we take a glove that probably everybody has at home. You fill up the glove with uh, warm water, which I already did. And then you glue the glove on this stick. I took a, you know, like a kitchen, uh, kitchen spachtel. And then you do exactly the same that we did with the real non-dominant hand. We give ourselves what we need and that's why it's so important to put uh, warm water not uh, boiling but warm like body temperature warm water that it would be possible to receive it and again it's a mind trick we have to allow it in but what if you are just not the person that needs this kind of support no you are a person who thrives from friction actually you are this lively intense angry person that needs that needs this you know no friction no shine fuck touch you need a relief you need something and even if you live with a partner a partner mind you is not a punch sack no no what you need is your phone um, in the phone, you can find an app for voice recording. In, the, in my phone, I found it's called voice recording. And you will record yourself saying something in this style. No, 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 no. And then you uh, select the parts that you want to hear and you let it run on repeat. And again... You let it in you. No, 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 yes, yes, yes. And that's it. That's it. You breathe in much better. <laughs> but what if 
even that is not for you. You don't, you're not an angry person. You deal with your frustration differently and you don't need the uh, Dutch, Dutch, Dutch. But your body feels tired and slow and sleepy. For you, I recommend physical activity. Don't worry, I'm not going to send you to run all over the city. No worries. For you, I recommend a dance. But I'm not going to ask you to start uh, dancing in the middle of the room like that uh, without music and so on. We're going uh, gonna to do it step by step and you're going to seemingly uh, unnoticingly slide into it. What we need is again your non-dominant hand and I, and I roll a little bit uh, back so I have space and I'm not screaming in your ear. Um, we need the non-dominant hand and we will start with the, moving the fingers that are most uncontrolled, like, like this. With me, it's like these two fingers. So I start moving them, I just start shaking them, releasing them from the tension and the stress. And you will notice that the wrist will start shaking and then the elbow and with it also the shoulder and then the other shoulder and we will let both hands start moving and we will let the head and then I will ask you to lift your butt from the chair in two centimeters only. You lift your butt from the chair and that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're dancing and there's a lot of adrenaline coming in and a lot of dopamine coming in and oxytocin and the, that's it, you are dancing. Okay, we've done that. The body is filled up, the, the blood system is filled up with all these neurotransmitters and you are ready. Your body is ready for a smile. That's it. That's what you do. When you take a coffee break and the thoughts come up. Have a nice day. Yeah, have a coffee break. It's <laughs> a good idea. I have coffee here. Coffee. Always coffee. <laughs> it's not that easy with the microphone. Okay, um, this was Anat Steinberg. Thank you so much. Um, as we are a cafe, uh, internet cafe, usually when you go to cafes and you go there regularly, like every day, you get these cards where you can get stamps on it. And after, I don't know, if you have been there for 200 times, then you get a coffee for free or something. Uh, we also do this, but of course you cannot come here and collect the cards because, yeah, you know why. <laughs> so we have a digital one. And I will press this button on the second computer. And then on top, be above the, the, the video window, there is now the sign Treue Bohn 1. And you can press on open. If you press on open, another window opens. And there you see this QR code. And if you either save it or print it out, then uh, you can bring it to us as soon as you know as soon as we can go out or we can do the our next show uh, at the beginning no at the end no at the beginning of october the first october yes uh, which is actually by accident the international coffee day it which is quite amazing we didn't know but we just set it there so yeah do we want something to say Ernst? Um, yes, no. um, and so save this Treibon 1, there will be more if you stay on the stream, so stay on the stream and uh, w y when you come on, on October the 1st and you show us the QR code, you get the real Treibons, the real vouchers, which you can put on a real card. There's something, there's a real life after all still. I was outside today, so I know there is real life. And when you collect these Treue Bones in the end, after the fourth show, which will be in December, uh, you will get a reward. Maybe not a coffee, maybe something different. We don't know exactly. Anyway, so this was the first Treue Bone, and um, we're drinking coffee. And what would coffee be without milk? 
huge. And because we are in Vienna, it will be milk with foam, so foamed milk. So we made a piece with cappuccino makers that make foamed milk. But of course, it's not a normal cappuccino foam milk maker, milk foam maker. It's uh, a sequenced one. And the piece is called Quirl. And I will start it now.
Okay, hey, now we have fruited milk. Well, uh, after having beans with letters and, uh, and also tea with a drone. And the first piece tonight was a very old piece of the Institute. It was Coffee One. It was this uh, big machine here. Um, and this piece, uh, Coffee One, was actually invited more than 20 years ago or actually in the year 1999 and it was the first piece of uh, the hearings it was uh, hearings that's what well, is a from the institute of transacoustic research is a event where, where events were from 1998 1999 to 2004 it was 36 events and um, on these events people from different fields artistic or um, science fields could um, show the projects to a small group of audience. They were monthly, so um, 43, uh, they were monthly and uh, very experimental. Um, the project was not important that the projects are finished or uh, it was just to present something that is work in progress. So a lot of discussion was going on in this uh, in these hearings and uh, there were um, also the transacoustic was sorted out somehow so these hearings were also a method to let's say sharpen the idea of transacoustic and uh, there was a second piece uh, also the second coffee piece uh, in 2000 I think November and it was um, also with a coffee machine and it's called coffee 2 and this piece I think, yeah, now today, I, I, today I, I will, I was actually this afternoon, I was reenacting this piece and uh, it was quite an experiment. Uh, please see how it worked out.
Okay. Yeah, no worries. The Bialetti machine is just fine. It was just me. I got a shower from coffee. So I'm quite smelling now. But you see, um, if you would like to reenact this piece also at home, I give you a, a short hint. You have to remove this part from the machine and then will be this glorious uh, sound effect. And uh, I hope you will enjoy it. And uh, yes, actually you have to brew the coffee normally and then it's, your kitchen will be in a new design, let's say like this. Jörg. Yeah. Um, now we come to the second Treue Bohn. Like I told you before, there is above this video, there is the link where you can open the QR code and you can either photograph the QR code, save it or print it out and then bring it to the next performance, the next real live performance of the Institute of Transacoustic Research and then we'll give you the real live Troye bone, like the small stickers and the card to put it on. And in the end, after the four shows, you will get a reward. Yeah, we don't know yet what it will be, but it will be something great, for sure. Uh, about the coffee, there's many legends and uh, the origins of the coffee are quite blurred. Nobody knows where it really came from. There are legends. Uh, about the uh, about the region uh, Kaffa in Ethiopia, uh, where it should be uh, invented or found and invented uh, by a, a shepherd who uh, named Kaldi, and he in in the ninth century, and he discovered because he noticed that his goats were eating these beans, and then they became all excited and they didn't uh, sleep. So. Uh, that's how he found found out that you could eat these beans. Uh, but this story isn't really, nobody knows if it's really true and it was only written down 800 years later, so we don't know. And there's another legend about the discovery uh, which tells that Sheikh Omar, who was known for his ability to cure the sick through prayer, um, he was, this, uh, I think, Sufi, uh, this Islamic... Uh, uh, Heiliger, a saint, uh, and uh, he uh, he was uh, sent to the desert uh, because uh, people distrusted him, and he said, that they, uh, and because he was a heretic, uh, so he was about to starve, and then he found some berries uh, uh, nearby, and he tried to eat them, and they were too hard and too bitter, so um, he tried. To, to roast them somehow to get, get this awful flavor away, but uh, then they were even harder. So then he tried boiling them again to, to make them softer, uh, and uh, then came out this black liquid, and uh, the, the beans didn't get, get soft, so he tried to drink this liquid, and then he couldn't sleep for days and nights and days and nights, but he also didn't need any food. So he survived. And then the people from the town who had expelled him, they, uh, they thought, ah, oh, there must be something special about him. God saved him. So he, he was asked to return and made a saint. So we also don't know about this story. There was no TV crew in this time, so we cannot really tell if it's true. Uh, the past is as blurred as the future is, actually. Uh, so... The rods and the roots of the coffee are in darkness. The origin is blurred. And that leads directly to the next guest, Tobias leibitz uh, a musician, sound uh, artist, composer, and media artist. He made a very blurred video, which he calls Staubdunkel, Dust Dry, where he's coffee blurring the shapes of dark matter dream coincidences. It's an associative play with rituals and abstractions and the change of perspective, a dreamlike occupation with coffee and its making. And the acoustic level exists 
exclusively of the sounds of coffee making, boiling water, coffee grinders, espresso pots. Tobias Leibitz, Eda, Staubdunkel.
Yes. Thank you, Tobias Leibitz, Idra. Um, I don't want to repeat it, but you know, we are not, it's not possible to go to a coffee house only to our lovely internet cafe, but also not every day. So I decided to make my own coffee house. I don't have that much space, so I did it in my wardrobe. sein. Zahlen gewünscht. Sehr gerne. Kommt sofort. Zahlen gewünscht. Bitte schön. Wollte hier noch? Sehr gerne. Kommt sofort. Zahlen gewünscht. Ja, yeah, yeah. that was the coffee house in the wardrobe. Yes, in 1994, a brand new concept of coffee was invited, uh, the Internet Cafe. I mean, they provided next to the hot beverages also a full internet access, which was a revolution at that time. And uh, the internet was suddenly accessible for uh, a huge public, which actually yeah, changed uh, the world in a second. So our project today is dedicated to this kind of, let's say, uh, cave-like uh, institution. Yeah, I mean, there were sitting people all alone, just connected via LAN and uh, spend it half of the day uh, peering into some monitors. Sounds familiar those days, no? I mean, uh, this is what we basically do now. 
in this situation. Um, and also the next video will be about this topic, but in a totally different field, let's say. Um, it's Coffee in Desolation is the name, and it's by Adele Knall. Um, she's a visual artist and uh, is also a radio producer and uh, also makes uh, as a musician, of course, like she's playing the contrabass and based in Vienna. Uh, the video is uh, tw 23 different uh, pictures of a yard in a desolation, in a desolation yard in the middle of the city. And uh, it is playing with the loneliness and vastness of this yard. But it has also a little bit of summer feelings and greetings of, a of the time that will come. Yes, Coffee in Desolation by Adele Knall.
Yes. Yeah, it seems to be a quite lonely life of a coffee cup, coffee cup during this period of COVID-19. Yeah, but coffee, coffee cup. actually is also a globalized product and connects people and countries. So coffee has become a, a very important cash crop for many developing countries. Over 100 million people uh, in developing countries have become dependent on coffee as their primary source of income. So uh, it's a backbone for many African and Central American countries. Uh, but also Vienna somehow sees itself as a coffee city because there are so many coffee drinkers. But this is really true. So the numbers tell a different story. Most coffee is consumed in Nordic countries, like Finland, 12 kilogram per person per year, Norway, 10 kilogram per person per year, Iceland, 9 kilogram per person per year. Vienna, Austria comes with 7 kilogram per person per year and is not even among the first 10. So maybe Vienna is not such an important coffee country nowadays. But what about history? There are legends which say that coffee arrived to Vienna with the Turkish armies in the Battle of Vienna in 1683. And spies like uh, Georg Franz Kolschitzky received the right to trade the coffee which the Turkish uh, troops left behind afterwards. And this cunning Polish uh, Viennese spy invented the coffee house, they say. But that's also not true. So... Uh, Coffee has been known in Vienna already before, and the tradition of coffee house had existed in other European countries, in other cities like Hamburg, like Paris. Uh, co uh, yeah, so many countries already had this coffee house, and it's likely that it has been established in Vienna after the Vienna International Exhibition in 1873. So there's a lot of mystifications about the history of coffee, but also the future is blurred. Matthias? Yes, um, our last piece for today is about the future. I mean, my Croatian grandmother told me a secret of a very old method to predict the future reliably. It's the to read the Dekoktisch, the, what's the, I mean, Kaffeesudlesen in German, which is like uh, decoction, also this material here. You can read it out of a mug and it will tell you what will happen next. So our last piece for tonight will be a real spoiler alert for the real life. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Yes. And the video. Yes. Got it. Eins, zwei, drei, go!
Yes, thank you so much. Uh, my hands are really sticky now. So, yeah, I'd like to wash it, but I'm kind of tethered with the headphones. So, yeah, that was Café Sudlesen. Yeah, I hope you know more about the future. Uh, yeah, well, the thing is, we have another one of these Treue bones. So, I will switch it on. So, if you go above this video stream, you should see the link to the next Treue bone, the third one. So, in case you haven't seen the past, this, you can open it, save it, or print it, and bring it to the next one of our shows in this series of Caffeinistic. And then you get the real Marcus stickers to put on the Treue Bone card. And in the end, after the four shows, you will get an amazing reward. I can tell you, it's really amazing. Yeah, um, I think that's my share of saying things. So, yeah. Uh, please. <laughs> yeah, so the, uh, the next... Uh, and the next events will take a while because we don't want to stay in the internet for the rest of our lives. We want to go out again and so we scheduled the next event on the International Day of Coffee, which is October the 1st. October the 1st, uh, there will be the next event, which is called Coffee to Go. Uh, and this will take place in the area around uh, uh, Belvedere 21, Kaupanhof. We will make a small expedition there. Then on November the 5th is uh, the third event, which is called A la carte. It's in 16th district in Café Rita. And then Café Grenzchen on December the 8th uh, in 4th district in more private atmosphere. But the Internet Café will still be open uh, permanently, uh, 74 hours a day, seven days a week, and will provide virtual coffee whenever you should need it. We just uh, say thank you to our sponsors, which is Bundeskanzleramt, Kultur der Stadt Wien and SKEFO. And of course, to the artists of today, Anna Wasow, Anna Steinberg, Tobias Leibitz Eder and Adele Knall. And to the team of Echo Räume Klingt Org, our stage managers uh, who provide this wonderful opportunity to keep the cultural scene alive during these days. So, something important to keep it alive, we, they also need some financial support. You have this uh, donate button uh, on top, here. I think here. Uh, here. At Café Casa. So please Café please Casa use the Café Casa <laughs> yes. and donate. It all goes directly to Echo Räume Klinkt Org team. Don't yes. forget to yes. take your virtual coffee beans with you. And uh, we're looking forward to see you again in October. As in, I hope you did also drink so much coffee as we did. Yeah. Actually, I was drinking like a liter today. I think... Uh, what Ernst was telling before, it's now eight kilos per person. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yes, I mean, it's, it's a good luck that we have time until uh, autumn to drink more coffee in this kind of uh, events. Um, yes, and if you like to see this broadcast or this, this stream, it's on our webpage. It will be accessible for the whole future, as my grandmother says. Yes, this is a real life spoiler alert. Bye bye. Yes, and if you want to maybe join us in backstage at Echo Rami Klinktalk, yes, yeah. I'll put the link to Echo Rami Klinktalk on top so you can meet us. Bring more coffee. We need to kind of remove the, the stuff from uh, from our stages, like, I don't know. Yeah, you know, we have to remove the stuff. But thank you so much. Goodbye. See you on the International Coffee Day, October the 1st. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye-bye.